Hey Nobles, well it's Mayor Chris Jensen coming to you on location here at a awesome place. I am actually on the Riverwalk Trail where it connects with the Midland Trace Trail underneath the new Pleasant Street Road here. And actually I'm gonna talk a little bit about the cool artwork around me in a little bit. But I wanted to come on location as we start to celebrate some of our new infrastructure projects as they begin to open. I know that's good news for everybody. This is another edition of the Friday Five for Friday, June 7th. The five things, I'm actually gonna throw in a bonus sixth again. Uh, you need to know going into this beautiful, almost summer-like weekend here in the city of Noblesville. So, first things first, we're gonna talk a little bit about some road construction because that's what we do. All right, State Road 32 and Connor Street. Phase two of that project, which is a project that is uh, led by our friends at the Indiana Department of Transportation. But it's coming to an end here shortly. Inda anticipates shifting to phase three on June 15th, so next weekend, we're gonna to shift to phase three. What does that mean for you? This will open 9th and 10th Street intersections downtown, but it will close Connor Street between 6th and 9th Street. So 8th Street intersection is actually gonna be closed going forward. Now, phase three work is expected to last about one month, uh, and we will have an updated traffic route for you as folks are looking to get in and out of downtown because that will shift our traffic a little bit, but it will, in great news, open up the remainder of that corridor heading to the east from 9th Street East, so we'll open those intersections. So be on the lookout for that. Kudos to all the workers down there. I know they have worked their tail off to get this project uh, done on time, and we really appreciate it. Second thing you need to know, Pleasant Street, it's awesome I'm standing underneath it. We're going to have a little update for you. Actually, City Engineer Ali Krupsey is going to have an update for you separately in a separate video later to talk about all the great things that are going on. But real quick for the Friday Five, just so you know, Pleasant Street between 8th and 10th Street will close on or after June 15th. That's after the State Road 32 Phase 2 ends. Okay, so we're again, Pleasant Street between 8th and 10th, that is designed to put a new roundabout there at 10th Street is the whole purpose of that. The 10th Street Roundabout will begin after Connor Street Phase 3 ends in mid-July. It's a lot of dates. Again, reimaginepleasantst.com is where you're going to want to go. Not only the website, but the Facebook page. You'll get some updated information on some closures around Pleasant Street. But what do all these closures on Pleasant Street mean? It means this project is, Phase 1 is coming to a close here pretty soon. So we're really excited about that. Again, reimaginepleasantst.com is where you're going to learn more about those upcoming closures on Pleasant Street. Third thing, state roads, here we go. Earlier this week, you might have seen some signs and I heard about it, so I'm well aware, along State Road 19 saying, road closed on or after June 10th. I too was surprised by that road closure on or after June 10th. So after some conversations with our good friends at the Indiana Department of Transportation, just a little communication error, folks, it happens. This closure will actually be moving to July 22nd. Uh, this will allow NDOT to finish the Connor Street work uh, the closure is planned for two days along State Road 19. Uh, NDOT has also had signs on State Road 37. Promise Road will close at State Road 37 on or after Monday for one day. Some of these are little maintenance projects here. One day there at State Road 37 and Promise Road. And then North and South traffic on 37 should not be impacted. 191st Street should be used as an alternative to Promise Road there. So again, some state projects coming up. We're trying to shift those all around to make sure that we're leaving as many roads as possible open in the city of Noblesville. But if you saw that sign on State Road 19, color me shocked as well, and we got it taken care of. It's gonna be two days later in July once we open all the roads in downtown Noblesville. Thank you for the communication. So many of you have reached out to us or let us know your thoughts about all that, uh, and I, I welcome the chance to talk to you about it. All right, fourth thing you need to know, 146th Street and Allisonville Road. Now this is a project that our friends at Hamilton County Highway are undertaking a major reconstruction of that intersection, which is long overdue. But this weekend, Allisonville Road at 146th Street is expected to open on Sunday night. What does that mean? All left turns will be eliminated in the new traffic pattern. 146th Street will have both lanes through lanes open in each direction. Again, 146th Street open in each direction. The temporary signal at Greenfield and Harriman will be removed. All you in Wellington Northeast are gonna rejoice gladly for that temporary signal on Greenfield. Um, the intersection at 146 and Allisonville will have a temporary signal then that will allow that intersection to open. But the temporary signal will go away on Greenfield Avenue. Worksite speed limit, ladies and gentlemen, 35 miles an hour, that is important. Please protect our construction workers who are out there working so hard to get these projects open for you. And the fifth thing, oh, it's the weekend. It's Friday. Let's talk about some fun things in downtown Noblesville. Here we go. It's the first Friday, so Main Street, the Front Porch Music Festival takeover, 4 to 8 p.m. in downtown tonight. 
Nobles of Creates has a photography exhibit opening, uh, and Sheik Elbert Velasco and Susan Morgan will showcase tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. Hamilton County's uh, Artist Association, their new exhibit at the Birdie Gallery, which you haven't visited the Birdie Gallery, it's a great place, 6 to 9 p.m. as well tonight. Wofford Theater will begin its weekly classic summer movies at 9.15 tonight. Probably in bed by then, Jim. This week's movie is San Francisco from 1936, so go check it out. Music and all that jazz is from 5 to 7 on the Courthouse Lawn. Concert the Commerce series kicks off tomorrow night with the Eagles Project, an Eagles tribute band from 8 to 10 p.m. at Federal Hill Commons. Chicken Bone Acoustic will open the show from 7 to 8 p.m. And I know Noblesville's ready for summer concert series because Dylan Park was packed last night. So as we opened up our summer concert series. So there is plenty to go on this weekend uh, for you to go check out in Noblesville. But one of the things I want to point out is this incredible mural that's over my shoulder here. And I'm going to invite two new friends of mine, Corey and Casey Wilkinson, to join me here on camera. They are the, uh, the artists on that. So gentlemen, thank you and welcome to the Friday Five. They, uh, this new mural is on the north side of the pedestrian tunnel as a part of our Reimagine Pleasant Street project. The mural highlights the message of connectivity from the past and the present and is uh, an intersection of three trailways. I know I mentioned that earlier. The Riverwalk, Midland Trace Trail, and the Nickel Plate. So, identical twin brothers, by the way. FYI, you're not seeing double. Uh, but so, tell me, gentlemen, can you talk a little bit about the inspiration behind this mural? Yeah, the inspiration was supposed to be for um, connectivity. How Noblesville is like a hub for communities, how we're all working toward connecting. So it kind of has a narrative of uh, transportation, past and present. So we've got featuring the old Midland Railway, uh, showing the train crossing the old steel double truss bridge, and then moving on to um, multiple, kind, like a, the old interurban that used to come yep. through here. But then we're also moving on to trails. So we show bicyclists, uh, pedestrians enjoying trails and parks and all the way from uh, people tubing down the White River, kayaking, things like that. Well, a perfect place for a mural on connectivity is right here where these three trails come together. Now, you both live in Hamilton County. What does it mean to work on a project like this? You mentioned when we got here, you got to meet a ton of neighbors through this process, people coming over asking what you're doing. What does it mean to you guys personally as artists to work on a project like this? Well, I mean, uh, as right-brained artists, we always love expressing, showing our creativity, showing off, but honestly we have to be thankful first to a municipality, a city who values artists and values what public art means to the public. So we love that first and foremost, but meeting the neighbors, everyone is so complimentary, uh, they're excited about it. They, Once you all ex uh, experience this mural, you'll see when you come around the trail on the river walk, it, it'll hit you and it's bold. It's just like those rocks that are falling from the sky, probably. Um, well, like I said, it is big and bold, and that's what we really wanted to do. This project, Pleasant Street, isn't just a roadway. It is a, it's really a piece of art and an area, and an area of the city that has some opportunity for revitalization. You guys are a huge part of that. So thank you for all that you've got done, and I can't wait for the public to see it. So congratulations. Thank guys. you. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Hey, guys, that's the Friday Five for Friday, June 7th, 2024. If you have any questions for me about the mural or these guys about the mural, give me a call at City Hall. I never remember the number, but Robert puts it on the screen. Email me, cjensen at noblesville.in.gov, or text me on my personal cell phone or call me, 317-509-3134. In the meantime, come out and see this mural. Enjoy a wonderful weekend in Noblesville, and we'll see you back here next Friday. Thanks, guys.